Hello everyone, welcome back to the Goody Life where life is good and everything is great. And today's video is a little bit different. I'm calling it a bonus video. Really fun. So I wanted to share the last live IG video that we did this Saturday. Welcome back to Cooking with the, the ninjas, ninjas and Growing with the Goody, Goody Life. Life. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. All right, so today we did not put what our recipe was going to be because we thought we wanted to share it with you guys now, live. So, so what's the secret recipe, Goody? Today we're making hot pie, oh sorry, hot pie shrimp. Oh wow! Without yeah. the pot, we, <laughs> so, okay. yeah. so that's a secret. That's recipe a secret. So normally, when you make pot pie, and just say hi to people as hey they're coming in. Yeah. Uh, who's joining? Hi, yeah. Osam. Hi, at home with red souls hi uh, aninda and this time today we are actually doing the video uh, in portrait mode so let us know landscape mode. yeah let us know how it's showing because we do want to use it for our youtubers also so that's mm -hmm. why we kind of turn the camera the other way yes but we are making pot pie shrimp pot pie and we're not using a pot like i said we are actually going to be making an edible pot how about that yeah, we want to eat like that. everything, right? You want to eat everything <laughs> when you're cooking. So we're going to make an edible pot. So the first thing you're going to want to get is some pastry. What is this? Pastry sheets. You, sure. Yeah, you want to get a couple of pastry sheets and then you're going to want to defrost them in order to use them. We already had a couple packets of this and what we did, because this is IG Live and we're doing it for time consumption, we actually made the pots already, but I will do it a second time to show you guys how you do the whole prep work. So basically when you open these sheets, they come into three pieces. But since I don't like to waste food, I'm gonna turn the camera down. I'm not a huge fan of wasting food, so we kind of have the pastry here. And I already, like I mentioned, I used it already to make some of the pots. So basically what you do is you just roll it out, you put some flour on the ground, and then you get any type of thing that you can cut with, that's about four inch and three inches, okay? And, actually you wanna give me a big strong arms there? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So basically you just like then you round round while I do my dance dance, uh -huh. and there you go. And then you're gonna drop that. Here? Yep. And what happens with this pastry dough, I don't know if everybody has used it, but what happens is it will just fluff. Yeah. You know? uh, it is all one. of layers, yeah. And what while Goody is doing that, what I also have here mm -hmm. is I have an egg wash. So what I did is I cracked an egg, I added some water to it, and I mixed it up. And uh, we're going to use this actually to, um, you know, to just brush off on those things, right? And I'll show you as we do it. There you go, that's the second and one. And this is the second bottom part of the of the pot pie. So basically the bottom part is the bottom of the pot, <laughs> as you base call it. The, pot, the yeah. base of the pot. And then basically it's the same sheet, but I added three layers. So I have one, and then we added some egg wash, and then a second layer, then we put some more egg wash, which is basically just water and one egg. And then we added a third layer. I'm gonna roll this out a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I told you wanna give it a nice little cut. Oh wait, we got it, sorry. So let's do this guy. Hi. Hey everyone who's joining, hi Jazam. And then you're gonna use the three inch mm -hmm. and you're gonna go ahead and cut that out, baby. Yep. So you're basically making a ring. Yes, ah. and I'm going to bring this down so Atul can show you guys really quick. Mm -hmm. Let's move this as we're making the first little pot. You're going to put some egg wash so on the bottom. The egg wash, I'm going to brush this guy. Okay. And this also you, it works as a glue. Yeah, right. and I'm going to stick this here and you're going to be 
so amazed to see how this puff up, puff up. And basically this piece is just the top to cover the pot. So you just put that right there. Mm -hmm. Perfect, should I do the other one before you egg wash them all? Like, oh okay, yeah, yeah, sorry. Sorry, I thought <laughs> yeah. did it I just wanted to show them how we're gonna put it on. Mm -hmm. Spread some more flour here. Roll this out. And this is a really delicious recipe. I actually do like shrimp pot pie. And I was so happy when I realized I can eat my pot. Yeah, and before, before you haven't had it, I, yeah. I had only eaten chicken pot pie, right? Yeah. Which is the traditional with a pot. Yeah, I like <laughs> seafood, so. Yeah, no, this was like really amazing. And that's the oven, it's ready for us. And I'm gonna bring that back down for you, Atul, and you go ahead and do your thing while I clear this up. Okay, so there's this guy, and then this guy, let me put it on the side one, sorry about that. And there you go. That's so you can walk them through what you're doing with the pot. That's the egg wash, which I put on the base a bit, right? And then I'm just, sticking all of this in right here right and then once these are nicely stuck on I'm gonna egg wash pretty much the rest of it mm -hmm. egg wash gives it a nice glistening shine also yeah this is my contribution to today's cooking by the way. <laughs> no no you contribute a lot do you want to spread some on the inside too? Yeah, I did. We perfect. Did Alrighty. Yep. So basically what's going to happen to this pastry, it's going to puff up. And this part is going to turn into a bowl. What we're going to put our shrimp in. And then the little part is going to be the top that you can put it on top to just make it look cute. So wow. into the oven at 400 degree for 20 minutes. And then I will move out the way as a tool make his drink. We have been using that watermelon, guys. You know we've been talking about it on IG. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll bring this is, up for you. It is summertime, so why not, right? Uh, we're almost close to getting summer done. How's everybody doing, by the way? Is everyone having uh, more fun? Are people excited and waiting for? Uh, fall to come by so what I have here is I have some watermelon juice right and we're gonna make some watermelon margaritas mm -hmm. okay um, so let me start off I have my little shaker cup here I'm gonna drop some ice in it, ooh, ooh. Ice, it? you can add the other stuff I'll break the ice up for you okay so while Goody does that so I'm gonna start off with some lime juice right this is a half an ounce of lime juice. This is a one ounce cup, so I'll just use half of that. So I have an ounce of lime juice in my shaker cup. There it goes. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'll do two ounces of fresh watermelon juice. Actually, Goody made this earlier, you know. So before. basically what you do is you get the watermelon, mm -hmm. you blend it, and then you strain it. You guys saw how I did it for the mojito. Mm -hmm. So maybe you should add a little bit more because little we haven't drink for All two. Right. Yeah. Go. And then this is simple syrup. What Remember what mix? simple syrup is when you are in school? Basically, it's equal parts of water and sugar. <laughs> and yep. that's, yep, that's it. That's that. And I have the ice right here ready for you. There you go. Okay. And then I'm going to add some tequila. Ooh. All right. You get, you get, I mean, it, it can be tequila. Usually, you know, you, you want some... Uh, white drink okay patron is a good one patron is a good one too yep right Ooh, you're getting us real party huh <laughs> yeah and then you do that you cover it up and then shake 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 okay right. meanwhile also i have some uh, mar uh, margarita glasses here and 
and I'm gonna rub some of my lime on it. Ooh! Gonna make it fancy. Why do you put the lime on it too? Uh, to stick, stick this thing. Yep. To stick the margarita salt. Uh huh. So there you go. As you can see, you know, fancy. Wow, that looks very fancy. And this margarita salt you can buy anywhere, right? Oh yeah, this I'm is... I'm gonna help you wipe here so it's a little bit nice for your mm -hmm, drink. Mm -hmm. yep. And then I also have... Actually, let me pour my drink in first. There you go. Wow! Yeah. Ooh! That's a beautiful summer drink, too. Oh yeah, this is like... If you guys haven't tried this, try it. <laughs> lime bean. Yep. You can use lime or you can use watermelon also. Yeah, I mean, the other fancy thing to do would be like, just put a watermelon. I'm going to bring the camera around so I can show this really sure. quick. Do it. Look at that, guys. Watermelon margarita. Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Alright, baby. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, wow. Mm, this is so good. refreshing. I'm gonna have some more before we move over. Look at this, you guys can't even see me. I'm already got this stuff going. I'm gonna have some more of this before we move over. Ooh. Man, too bad I made it very little. Wow. That's good. Give this a try. This is really, really good. And look at that. Your yeah. family will love you for this. This video, this entire life can be just me sipping this drink while we talk. <laughs> Alright, so let's <laughs> move the camera over. Mm -hmm. And let's start with this. Ooh, whoa. <laughs> you turn it on? Okay, I will turn on the stove. So we'll hang on for a bit. The, so meanwhile, you can show all yeah. the ingredients mm -hmm. that you have here. I should just turn the stove off. We turn the pan on a little bit early. So here... We're gonna make the stuff for the shrimp right now. So what we have is some onions, some chopped up onions, some chopped up carrots, and you cut them up tiny, tiny, into little tiny bites like that. Some um, celery. Celery sticks. Celery sticks that I cut up. So I think we have one celery stick here. Two sticks. Two sticks and one carrot, and about a half of an onion, and about four mushrooms, right? Yeah, four, four mushrooms. Mush Remember, we're only cooking for two people. And then this time, I'll show you when we're gonna add this in. However, I won't add it in right now because we're gonna do the shrimp really quick, the two. You yep. wanna marinate the shrimp for them? Yep, so this is shrimp. Uh, you know, this is just, we got frozen shrimp. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we defrost them, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Right. And then uh, I'm gonna add some paprika to it. I'm gonna add some more. You know? mm -hmm. Kind of just gives a Cajun yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah. Do you want some salt to it too? Yes, you can add some salt to it right now. Mm. And then should I mix it with my hand? I have a spoon. I, I got a spoon. Oh, okay. I come prepared. <laughs> you do. So there you go. And while the onion is while the onions and the veggies are cooking, this can just sit sit there, right? Actually, no. So, no? it's so funny you said that. We're gonna actually fry this really quick as it's marinating right now. We're gonna fry it real fast. Just see, this mm -hmm. pan is still a little bit hot. Hang on one second. Okay. Sorry guys, we're gonna give the pan a little nice shine. And now I'm gonna add some butter to my pan mm -hmm. and I'm all about one pot cooking you guys know that when you see us cooking mm -hmm. on the on our IG we're all about cooking in one pot mm -hmm. so basically the butter is heated and now I'm gonna just add the shrimp to it and we're gonna let the shrimp cook for a little bit mm -hmm. You may need these, so I'm gonna keep them. Yep, here. thank you. You're not trying to fully cook the shrimp. You just want it to cook 
We are still learning how to use this camera very well. I yeah, think. I think when we use it vertical, I think that's much better. Yeah. So don't do it now though. Yeah, I know. We can't turn it now, but I'm going to try to get it to where I can at least, they can see me while I'm cooking. <laughs> Maybe I'll move it a little bit. Before. Okay, there you go. That's yeah. Good. So you don't want the shrimp to be fully cooked. You just want it to cook a little bit because we're going to cook it again. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you guys what I mean about cooking everything in one pot. Okay. I'm just going to flatten them all so they all are yeah. like on the base, on the pan. And the cayenne pepper just kind of give it like a Cajun kind of mm -hmm. flavor. So where did we... Yeah. Where did we hit, have these first time, really? This is something that... Have we had somewhere outside? So I have eaten a lot of pot pies. Or would you call it? No, those are shepherd. When I was traveling in Europe, I had a lot of pies. <laughs> but um, this is just something we like, you know. What happened is when you eat the, when you have the pot pie, you have it in the pot. And I actually saw a recipe, actually a couple of different people where they use puff pastry. So instead mm -hmm. you can just have mm -hmm. the whole thing, the whole meal you can eat, you know? Yeah. So instead of just the the main thing like the shrimp or whether they're using chicken or uh -huh. whatever lamb uh -huh. or whatever it's just eating that with the veggies out of the pot uh -huh. this is just the whole thing you can eat uh, I see. yeah so let that cook down for a little bit i'm gonna get my drink mm -hmm. i thought i was not gonna be cooking but look who is cooking now mm -hmm. You don't want it to fully cook, just cook a little bit. Okay, let's pull them out. And you see how it has the nice red hem? And we'll bring it over here so you guys can see it. Ooh, the nice red yeah. color on the shrimp, that's from the cayenne. By the way, if you don't want to use cayenne, you can use paprika. It's a little bit more smoother, I guess, mm. on the heat. Yeah, paprika, I think it gives a little. Uh, what do you say? A little toasted taste. So the okay. shrimp is out. Uh huh. All done. Now. Do you need me to? I'm gonna add a little bit more butter in there mm -hmm. because I just like a little bit of butter I'm having on the weekend. And then let's get the onion in there. Let's add in my onion. You want to start out there? Sure. We can't make a tool not cook, okay? <laughs> we have to get it. So basically all the flavor still from the cayenne and everything is still in the same pot. So we took the shrimp out, but the flavor is still there because everything is gonna go right back in. Mm -hmm. Ooh, smells good. It does, it does. Mm -hmm. Let me check right here on this guy. Wow, okay, I wanna show you guys this in the oven. So I'm gonna show you what's happening to the um, little pots. See, those are edible pots. They're cooking, they're coming along just fine. <laughs> Sorry, baby. No worries. All right, how is the onion? Getting done. Okay. Good. So then you're gonna add in the carrots, mm -hmm. the celery sticks, okay. and the mushroom. Mm. Gonna hang on to the thyme for a little bit. We're gonna let that cook for a little bit. I like all the colors. Oh, yes. And I'm all about eating your veggies. You want to get your veggies in with your protein. Shrimp is actually a really good mm -hmm. source of that. And then you're also getting your veggies here. One of the, ooh, little man overboard, man overboard. There we go. Mm -hmm. Got it. Shrimp is actually, we read it. It's really good for like when we are running and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Shrimp is good for joints and yeah. cartilage and all yeah. those things. So that's one of the reasons why also we eat a lot of shrimp. And also for IG Live, you guys know we don't get a lot of time on IG before it cuts off. So seafood is the way to go. <laughs> and then, actually, actually, if you guys know, Goody doesn't consider shrimp as meat. No. Uh, uh, <laughs> when I make meat, she's like, uh, shrimp yeah. is like near vegetarian. <laughs> so we're going to add in some thyme. And what I did basically was I just took another piece of thyme and I tied it around a bunch of it because you want to fish this out. 
before, after your food is done. Okay. Yes, it's more. Huh? Yes, it's more. <laughs> yeah, then that way it's easy to get it out, you know? Mm -hmm. And you have to smell this. Oh my gosh, you guys. I wish I <laughs> can let you get the aroma. You yeah, need to smell this aroma. The so celery stick, the carrot, the mushroom, the butter, the, butter, the yeah. chili, the cayenne pepper that kind of stayed in the bottom mm -hmm. from the um, shrimp. It's just all so good. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to oh, add salt on this. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Ooh. And then let me get a little bit of cup so I don't go overboard. So I'm going to add a little bit of white wine. So the white wine basically just cook right out. That mm. should do it. And you let that cook out a bit. Wow. Man, this is smelling so good, babe. Yeah, you smell the wine? Yeah. So yeah, that's going to give it a nice little flavor too. Mm. And I love the colors. I love the greens. I love the yeah. oranges. And that. Can you guys see this? Let me bring the camera down so they can see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check that out, guys. Right and the shrimp and the other stuff is not even in yet. Yeah, and I think this takes a little cooking because carrot takes a while to cook, yeah. although it's like little mm -hmm. small pieces. It takes a little bit. Let me check on the... We're actually going to put the oven light on. Oh, you didn't time it when you put it in there, huh? It'll oh, no. be there for 20 minutes, though. Yeah, we'll, we'll be able to. Yep. Ooh, that's getting all ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now you can add some salt okay. to taste. I will taste it again because I still have to add some other stuff in it. Great. Lower it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you're going to add some cream because you want the cream to thicken all of this. We're making pot pie, right? Remember. Ooh. So. Yeah, baby. Good. <laughs> Atul is loving this meal, guys. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Let me show you guys what it's looking like. So that's going to cook down a little more. It's also going to cook the carrots. It's also going to cook the celery. Oh, yeah. And you see the color? Do you see how it's changing? Wow. That's looking beautiful. And we, we add onion in everything when I think about it. You, you can use different things. You don't have to add onion. You can add different stuff if you want to. I just find this combination to work really well. All right. Let me check with the carrot scoop. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to mm, give it a little bit more. Okay, let yeah. me take the thyme out. So once you add the cream in, you want to pull out the thyme. Once it cooks in a little bit, just want to take this out. Ain't nobody got a time for it. <laughs> All right, that's two. You, may, you can probably drop the rest of the You cream. want a little more cream in there? All yeah. right. I did take it all out just for that. Let me get a little bit of water. That's a good thing. When you're cooking at home, you just add what you like. You take out what you don't think. If you want to add some more cream to it, you eyeball it. I am not the person who knows how to do all the measurements very well. I eyeball it, and that's how I cook. My mom cooks like that. I think your mom cooks like that. Yeah. We yeah. are the type of people, a pinch of this, a little bit more of that, and that's how we cook. But And the funny part <laughs> was, I think while growing up, we we would see them cook, and then you see all these recipes on YouTube, yes. and then you'd give grief to your moms, be like, why are you cooking it like that? And then now when you cook it by yourself, yeah. you still do the same thing. Yeah. Wow, this is smelling so good. Yeah. And you need just a little bit more than like half a cup of cream in case you do mm. want to know the measurement, though. And then you add the shrimp in and you let this all cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mix. Yep, you give that a good mix for me. Let that cook. And then I'm going to add some pepper in there. Uh -huh. And if you don't mind to be my taster as usual and always, taste to see if you need any more salt. Yeah, let me give it a little stir. Because I know we had some salt in the yep. shrimp as well. I thought you just see this just like that. Wow, I'm gonna grab this guy out. 
Ooh, look at those mountains. Yeah, let me get the... Those are towers, but careful here. Do you want me to get it? Check this guys out. The little pots are out and ready for... Dropping the stuffing. Dropping the stuffing, yep. Yeah. Thank you. Let's close okay, this so off. Let me check this out. Turn the oven off. Mmm, tastes good. Tastes good? I, it looks I good. I will add a little salt to it. A little bit salt. Wow, the thyme gives a nice taste too. This is a nice recipe. Mm hmm And bring it back down so you guys can see it one more time. See how good that look? Wow. You can see the shrimp. Okay, that's done? I believe so. Okay. Yep, it is done. Perfect. Yes. Now I'm gonna bring the camera over here too. So should I get this? There yes, for you? please. Thank you very much. And this is a very quick recipe. Of course, shrimps don't take more than a few minutes to cook. So remember, we made the edible pastry pot so we can eat this. And this is basically just the top to kind of make it look cute. The lid, the lid, yeah. And what I'm gonna do, at least you can turn the camera down. Oh yes. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna basically pour this shrimp mix mixture. Yep. All in there. Now there's a lot of shrimp, so you don't have to worry about it. Ooh, and it will spill. That's okay. It all goes in my stomach. Yeah. <laughs> and this is it. And if you want, you just put this on top to make it look cute. Shrimp pot pie. But I'm going to take this off so you guys can see it. Oh, wow. That's it. You can eat everything. So you eat the shrimp and you can eat the pastry also. All edible. So I'm going to spin this around. So we're getting... So here we go. Wow, that looks so yummy. Yeah. Shrimp pot pie with a watermelon margarita. Yeah, baby. Alrighty. Let's try this and see how it tastes. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Gonna taste some of the veggie. Careful, it's gonna be hot. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so creamy. Try this. Mm. Oh yeah, wow. Mm, gosh. You guys, give this a try. I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. Matthew, where's your drink, babe? That's my drink, but okay. Oh, that's your drink? No, yeah. where's hey, your drink? Three, You've been I drinking can. your drink. Oh. oh yeah, those of you who are joining us, we just finished up. We made this amazing shrimp pot pie and a watermelon margarita. But don't you worry, we're gonna upload this so you can catch the full recipe on IG. Mm. Happy weekend, everybody. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. And thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Bye, bye guys. Bye.